It's like it's. All right, we're back. It's another episode of DZ Gaming, or this is Undertale, um, with me and uh, Lily. Lily, how you doing? Uh, doing good. Yeah. Yeah. You, you excited? Oh hell yeah. Yeah. We're in the ba- best part of the game. Honestly. Are we? All right. Well, let's uh, continue here. We are 72 minutes and 57 seconds into this game. Uh, continue. Right. See ya. Alas, the cold spaghetti we are incapable of eating. Oh, that's right. Uh, Sorry, sad. Um, uh, Z to interact. Z to interact, that's what it was. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the table. <laughs> it's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know this spaghetti is a trap. Ha 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 ha. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great papyrus. Uh, yeah. God, papyrus. papyrus. <laughs> Best character. So great. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. That's fucking hilarious. All right. Uh, if you go, you can actually go behind that. Yes. I see this. Z. There is a sound. Oh, okay. D- yep. <laughs> okay, so left or right? Uh, we just came in from the left. Okay, so I came in from that way, so we gotta yeah. go right. All right, good. Warning, dog marriage. Uh, I hope it's just a couple dogs being married, not a human dog marriage. Oh. Uh, oh, no. No, Jerry! Jerry came too? Oh. <sighs> What's up with Jerry? Oh, man. He's just an, he's just an ass. Is he? You and the other one just said Jerry when I looked away. I just love my hat, okay? Oh, no, get out of the way. I forgot about you. No, 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 get, get, okay. Get. Jerry, I don't remember if he attacks you, but he's, he comes. <laughs> Celebrate Jerry's disappearance. Basically, imagine the person who complains about every little thing. Uh-huh. That's Jerry. He doesn't have anything good to say. <laughs> ever. Ever. And it's not even like a funny, oh, he's just an asshat. No, he, he's just rude. <laughs> he has a great hat. <laughs> D- oh, no. Why are we doing this? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> found the secret. Return of Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Ditch. <laughs> he <laughs> <has one laughs> <with> <laughs> your hat. Oh, you fucker. Oh, that's not fair. Okay. Do the monster celebrate Jerry's disappearance again? All right, Ice Cap. But it's not weakened enough. Oh, that's enough. right. I forgot. I got to Damn it. Help, fashion police. The other monsters may attack ah. you, but Jerry's annoying. <laughs> I think if I'm correctly, if you just ignore his uh, hat yeah. long enough, you can uh, just. He looks annoyed. <laughs> Shim thinking, guys! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Return of Jerry. Damn it, Jerry. <laughs> this is the most times I've ever had to see Jerry get ditched in a single battle. <laughs> Continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. attention. <laughs> Continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine. Uh, I don't care. Kasai. <laughs> <laughs> One of his. Oh, shit. oh, don't die. I'm trying not to. One of Jerry's lines. Yeah, if you just ditch Jerry, and uh, then we can uh, spare Ice Cap. Yeah. But, uh... If I don't die. Hopefully. One of Jerry's lines is he just complains about the Wi-Fi sometimes. <laughs> just, just con- <laughs> the Wi-Fi here sucks. Well, I, can, I, can, I sympathize, Jerry. Really? Why would I be able to do this? Is it, like... Do some oh. purpose? Yes. Oh, okay. X marks the spot. Oh, okay. Well, 
What do I do there? Oh. Maybe if you clear away more of the snow, you might realize what the picture is. Gotcha. It's not going away! <laughs> it goes away a bit. Okay. Papyrus lovingly made this puzzle for you. Lovingly made this puzzle for me? Yes. Uh, so, I don't... Normally, what, what things have an X marks a spot on them? I know, treasure chests. Well, no, not what's under the X marks a spot. Oh. What are, like, when you find a picture that has an X on it, what does it normally be? What is it normally? What is it normally? Yeah. What is the piece of paper that normally... It's a map, normally. Yeah, yes. I get it. It's a map. And is that where I am? No. The X is something you got to find. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. No, Jerry! Jerry! Oh, God, we should probably just flee. You look nice today. Your HP was maxed out. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> ah! I recommend not dying. You think? <laughs> Jerry tells everyone to have to go to the bathroom. Nice, Jerry. See you later, Jerry. Ah. See, this game would do good to a controller, too, like on the Xbox. It's, you can use a controller with it if you want. I know, but I'm going to get the actual experience here. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. <laughs> Looks annoyed. Oh, that was close. That was, I'm so glad the hit detection on this thing is iffy sometimes. <laughs> it's a good thing it's getting played on a TV. I know, right? Oh, Jerry, come on now. <laughs> what a fail. Jerry, I hope you stub your toe. <laughs> Return oh, of Jerry. Jerry. Goodbye, Jerry. Ah, don't do that to me. Uh, can Bearable. I ditch him now? No, I can't. Yes, yes, yes. you can. Get out of here. All right, so... I don't... There's a switch hit in the snow. That, that's, it was a map of this room. I get it. I figured it out, but how the do I... The switch is stuck now. Well, you remember those spikes? Oh, yeah, yeah, they should be yeah. down now. <laughs> Checking everything. Here we go. Snoopies! What's that smell? What is that smell? Oh, no. Blind dogs again? If you smell, identify your smell. They see your smell, so they can actually find yeah, you better. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Oh. Dog eye. Free sniff. <laughs> Dog sniff you again. But you smell just as weird as before. What's that smell? Smell mystery. Remember the blue you have to uh, be still in while yeah. you have to the white dodge? The dogs are reevaluating your smell. So you smell suspicious, so you've got to smell unsuspicious. Oh, that. <laughs> you see the stick and the dogs want to get it. <laughs> I almost. <laughs> we played fetch for a while. I was. So every dog in the game can get spared that way. Right. Every dog looks to play fetch. Oh, they've got little shirts of each other under the thing. <laughs> weird smells can bring Friendly good things. Friendly fun fetch. <laughs> Thanks, weird smell. Sure was fun to stick together. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't worry, you're fine. Are we PlayStation now? Uh, <laughs> hold on. 
Nope, it doesn't move a third time. You can read the sign. Papyrus! Turn every X into an O. Oh, and then press the switch. Fuck. <laughs> More importantly. Is there any left for me? <laughs> you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti. Did we eat it or did we leave it? Really? Wow, we. You're just the flavor of my home cooked <laughs> pasta. Just so you could share it with me. Wow, yep, I did. Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you the pasta, all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks, Papyrus. Hold on, reset. Then we can hit the button. Okay. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad, dude. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Human. <laughs> How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to include this puzzle. By arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. <laughs> and as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. <laughs> Turn every action to an O, then press, press the switch. switch. Okay, let's see here real quick. And you can try as many times as you need because... I know. Crap. It's okay. I know what I have to do. Yeah. And you gotta every act. Yep. All the way around. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wow, <laughs> And you solved it. Oh, that might help. Incredible. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. Might even be too easy for you. <laughs> God, I love him. <laughs> Sand! Stop. Okay. Who did a job on solving it so quickly? You didn't mm. even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> And there's nothing. Yes. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. See these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. Step on them, they will have a fight monster. Oh, great. Orange tiles are orange scented. <laughs> it will make, make you smell, smell delicious. <laughs> Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> One last thing. This puzzle is entirely, entirely random. random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, boy. Get ready. I'm getting ready. Get ready. It's going to be all pink all the way through. Get ready! 
I'm going to have a seizure. Really? <laughs> nice. And then... <laughs> utter disbelief. That's funny. The machine isn't working. <laughs> Actually, that spaghetti from earlier wasn't too bad for my brother since he started cooking lessons. He's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up next year, he'll even make something edible. Oh. That's funny. So mean. <laughs> Staring blankly in the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Fun fact, since that's the dog that you were able to uh, pet a lot in this next brew, yeah. the more you pet it, the more there would be like a whole bunch of uh, the snow dogs with like long necks just poking out everywhere. Really? Like he comes in and rush, and like rushes to uh, make a whole bunch of long dogs. <laughs> but alas, <laughs> that dog considers itself an artist, but it doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that it's a brain the size of a piece of kid loop. <laughs> Rude. It's true. Oh. Ice. Fun fact, you can fall off the edges. Can you? Yeah. Great. <laughs> you won't die. <coughs> it's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive sans. Alright, let's try this again. So, uh, this is like my game Chip Challenge, which I like to do. Bong, bong. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, last you can only slide in one direction. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that one all up. All right. <laughs> Just die. Goodbye. Okay. I have all the puzzles memorized. No! You son of a bitch. You got it. Though. I know, I knew what it was. I just had to look at it again for a second. I was like, oh. What the f <laughs> Yo, the hit detection in this game is garbage. Alright, here we go. Chips challenge you ain't, buddy. Remember quickly, this whole game was made in uh, RPG Maker. Mm hmm. Fuck, we own it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a snowpaw. In this, it's a it's snowpaw. A snowpaw. This, this, however, is a snowpaw. snowpaw. Surprisingly, it's a snowpaw. Snowpaw. Is it really a snowpaw? Behold, a snowball. Oh, yeah. there's dirty G inside this. What is this? <laughs> See? Oh. He's a doggy. He's a big doggy. Uh oh. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Greeted dog is waiting for your command. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking flubber into your face. Can I yeah. catch it? I don't want to catch oh. it. Whoa, he's fast. Greater dog is seeking affection. Greater dog curls up in your lap that it pet by you. You get so comfortable it falls asleep. <laughs> and it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, no. It's like Coco. I died. No. Shit. Oh, death be upon ye. So Holy lose hope. hope. Dork. Dork. Stay, Stay determined. determined. <laughs> okay, good. At least I know this, but no! <laughs> Fine. Get over here. Fucker! Yeah, if you just... Yep. Oh, ye death be upon ye. No, woe be thee. And then... Chugga chugga. Chugga chugga woo woo. Listen, it's different that snow statue every time you go across. Is it? Sam! What's up? Say, were you following me? Oh, come on. Keep trot. Keep trot refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? Ah, the scent of fresh. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! God damn and it. Gift Trap stumbles blindly. Gift Trap refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? I'm gonna smack the shit out of you, Gift Trap. Maybe he didn't want to be decorated. Well, maybe I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it cannot end now. Dork, stop dying. Dork, stop being a dork. And then... Ah, I did it again. <laughs> Woo. Uno, dos. I should go faster. Tres. Cuatro, cinco, uh, Seis. Spanish. Uh, Siete, ocho, nueve, diez, diez y uno. I was a French loser, so I don't know Spanish. Actually, it's once, once, trece, catorce. Un, dos, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, no, six, un, dos, tres, catorce, cans. Uh, says D set D sweet D snow van. Big dog. Big doggo is big. And he goes. <laughs> you call the greater dog and you bounce towards you, flecking flubber into your face. What the? Dude! Greater dog is seeking affection. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it's a pet by you. It's so comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. So excited. So close. So close. So now we can play with it. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog puts up all the snow <laughs> in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests your head on you. Oh! Yeah, that tack is a bit BS. Alright. I'm gonna beat this dog. Don't forget the dog, too, so you still got that stick. Didn't I throw the stick already? Yeah, but it, remember, you guys played fetch, oh, so right. they right. bring it back. Surprisingly, there's also one non-dog enemy it works on. Really? I'm not going to tell you which non-dog enemy it is <laughs> because we haven't encountered it yet. All right. 
will tell you after you fight it. It's gonna be a way off though. Now he goes. Call Greta Dog. Flex the slobber into your fifty. God damn you, dog. It was a uh, pet. Pet, yeah. But uh, Z's and X is the fastest way to, yeah. yeah. Yay! I did it. Now we're able to play. Splat on the ground. Great dog puts all this in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is really tired. You rest your head on him. Fuck you. Oh, wait. And then Mercy? Uh, he's not sparable yet. Uh, I think it was a pet again. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. You movement slow. But you still haven't a pet enough. So one more pet. Oh. Oh, God. I feel up. Oh! Pet capacity. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air. Yep, it's Cohen. Oh, God. You're so close. Right after that, it would have been sparable. Or you can play with a stick to spare instantly. You know something? Damn dog. How could you? You're supposed to be man's best friend. But you're not a man. You're a child. Nah, you got me there. You're but a wee little child wandering through the woods. I like Little Red Riding Hood and shit. <laughs> Except instead of eating you, it's taking your soul and giving it to a king. Yeah. And he doesn't give two shits, this kid. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> Come here, dog. I'll get you this time. <laughs> Yeah, sadly, you can't skip the scenes. Well! Do, 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 do. Back in. Nope. Oh. Shit. Too far away to pet. You just pet I just the, pet air. the air. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You could just throw the stick. I could. You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played pet for a while. Greta Dog's watching you intently. Yay! Now I can spare him? Mm-hmm. Yay! You got 40 gold. I could have done that before. <laughs> there you go, puppy. Aw. And then... <laughs> nice. Good guard dog. Good job, boy. Wait, no, you know what? Be careful, you can uh, find enemies going that way. I was going to save again. Don't worry. Front row. Oh, okay. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! <laughs> Dog, when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire. Spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, it's a hold up. Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. <laughs> well, this challenge, it seems, maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. 
My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this message is far too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. <laughs> Poor puppy. Whew. What are you looking at? This is a decisive victory for Papyrus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go backwards for a bit. Oops. Okay, there you go. This is actually a save point, like right over, uh, right across the bridge. I just wanted to, you to see that little uh, animation. Yeah, because a lot of people miss it. Okay. Because the only way to see, because Flowey's literally following me. Fuck. Damn it! Can we flee? Might just be easier to flee. Yes. Let's keep walking. We're safe. As soon as we get across this bridge, which is the next area. Aha. Uh -huh. And you won't fight any monsters here. So it's a nice, safe area. Town. Snowden Town. Use the box. You got nothing in the box. But luckily, it's an interdimensional box, so anything you put in the box will be accessible by any other box. Gotcha. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? There's a tough glove, there's a manly bandana, bicycle, and a cinnamon, cinnamon bun. bun. Heals 22 hit points, heals 11 hit points times 2. So the uh, that literally means that you it's like one item at first, and you eat it, it heals 11, but then you'll have the another, because it's basically like, you know the popsicles where yeah, it's yeah. the two? It's like that. So you only eat one half of it. The manly, actually, I think we already have. We either have the bandana oh, oh. or the tough glove, and oh, I can't okay. remember, so we can check. Yeah, I'll come back next time. The fate of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Welcome to Snowden Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Hiya. <laughs> Which is incredible, because you're only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Mom says that sleeping can recover your house above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Oh, not like any other RPG where you can just go up, huh? Nope, you have to have your room key for... <sighs> Hey, I didn't know it skipped the whole town. It's a mailbox. We're following. It's a unread junk mail. The library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. I love working at the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches, and they ran out of assignments. I just thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. <laughs> I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven that their souls don't need these things to exist. Ooh, burn. Yep, and that's from the green one. Monster hit History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swamp land, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Because they made a magic, monster bodies are tuned due to the soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if being... If a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's just end the chapter here. <laughs> here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start to reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. <laughs> well, monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made out of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us. 
but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. What do you mean? At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live in on that thing. Uh, am I at the minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. I think that's it. Basically. It's a <coughs> nice lore dump. We all know the underground has problems. We smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Got a point. Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Rubies! Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. Disgusting. I'd like to try it sometime. <laughs> No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. Jesus Christ. Better watch when you sit down here, kid, because that big guy will jump in your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Stop it. For centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish the skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. It appears to, to be losing. losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me there's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Jesus Christ. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city stickers slip on the butts. <laughs> Ruby said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> The jukebox is broken. That would suck. It's very sad. And there's nothing else you can investigate in here. Oh. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. <laughs> That's politics. politics. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> it's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressing Santa to, lo to various locals. Awful teens tormented a local monster, so we started giving uh, that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, tee hee. That lady over there, something about it disturbs me. Hmm. Yeah, that the bun. That's her little brother. Is it? Yeah, the little guy she's walking just it, literally her brother uh oh alright so uh, I guess there's nothing else in this town I mean you could also there's a little portion where you can go up oh yeah yeah right over here let's play monsters and humans and then oh what a beautiful look Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, oh, my patience rewards me. Ah. <laughs> ah, oh. oh, to be young again. Who else sure felt boundless? You aren't going to make me the human again, aren't you? Ace Wolf! Okay. Yeah, you can't talk to him. The only time you are ever actually able to talk to him is when you successfully, like, free everyone, which is very hard to do. Gotcha. And stuff, and then the only... <coughs> Earth's first thing Ice Wolf's gonna do is buy some pants. 
and then the second mailbox. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. It's locked from the inside. You cannot get in the shed. It's very snowy. And then, what is this? Oh. Papyrus! <laughs> Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be that you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what that must feel like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder about what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That is Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. What? F -f Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. <laughs> well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh, no. You're meeting all my standards. <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. <laughs> okay. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for a date. <laughs> oh no! Let's date later after I capture you. What if I insult him? Oh no. I mean, you can, but you'd just be a horrible person. Yeah, I know. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's d date later! Yeah, it's another Toriel situation where you just gotcha. gotta keep sparing in order right. for dress. Papyrus stabs some bone so you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. You got gravity now. Nice. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blue. Dabu dee dabu da. Dabu dee dabu da. Mm, I wonder what I should wear. Mm. Yeah, you don't have to keep constantly jumping. I know. It's just funner that way. They have some uh, Metaton brand Bishi cream behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh. Papyrus stabs some. Hold up, long gonna jump higher. Jeez. <laughs> Woo! And wee! Woo! Papyrus stabs Metaton brand cute. Yeah, it'll make me use my special attack. Oh, come on up. Ooh. He's actually pretty hard. Yeah, that one's... I can almost taste my future popularity. Ah, oh, I should stay. Damn it. Don't worry, you've, at least you got invincibility frames. <laughs> Metaton brand beauty yogurt. The pirate's the head of the royal guard. How is that possible? People do no hits of this. The unravel spaghetti twa. Ah. Ah. Hundine will be really proud of me. <gasps> Shit. Look, you're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. 
I will now send you to the capture zone. Oh, as Sans calls it, a garage. Here now, here in the doghouse now. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he cannot kill you at all. He physically can't. You get a squeaky chew toy. Not in the he can't kill you because he's not powerful enough. He clearly is. He just doesn't want to kill you. <laughs> so you have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nephily <laughs> yours, papyrus. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a dog bowl. It's a squeaky chew toy. He's too small to sleep on. The bars are too <laughs> wide to stop anyone. All right, but save point, and uh, what are we at time-wise, by the way? Oh, uh, good question. It's a very good question. Hmm. There's monster kids, there's the bears. Ah, get... Dumb bunny. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save. 47 minutes. 47 minutes? Yep. Nice. So I think we're going to call it because that's uh, just about an hour. So I don't think I'm going to get much farther than that right now. All right. And then we'll continue. All right. So we're going to save it and uh, we're going to continue this next time. Uh, this game is fun. Uh, it's weird. Um, I've never played an RPG before where the uh, point was not to hurt somebody. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, uh, does it get exciting, or is it this, this, this like uh, it gets just him trying to fuck with you the whole game? Well, depending what you do, he can. As long as you keep him alive, you you can keep talking to him the whole game. Okay. But he's not the like he's not gonna be like there the whole time trying to like capture you. Okay. So there's there's a. Uh, there's more characters. I was going to say, Undyne is the bigger one, right? Yeah. She's the bigger boss. Undyne is the one that actually wants you dead. Gotcha. All right. Well, then, next time, uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week. We're going to continue to play uh, Undertale. Uh, Lily, did you have any uh, place online that could find you? No, do not find me. I wish to remain hidden. Just like Loki. All right. Good deal. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time, and uh, peace. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.